If you're showing comparison, you should ask the question, well, am I comparing among items or over time? The key being behavior. If you're showing distribution, the question becomes, well, among how many variables is this being distributed? The key here is dimension. If you're showing comparison, composition, you should ask, well, does it change over time or is it static over time? Key here is structure. And finally, if you're showing relationship, you should ask, well, among how many variables is this being related? The key here is class. And by class, I mean what type of relationship do these variables have to each other? Okay? Is it linear? Is it inverse? Or is it direct squared? All right, here's a closer look at Abella's chart. Choose her cheat sheet. Bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? You see how the four categories are radiating out from the center, and all the questions and sub-questions radiate out from that, and the appropriate graph type at the very end. So, for the sake of the argument, let's take composition as an example. Okay? Start asking questions. Yes, does it change over time, or is it static over time? And if it changes over time, are you talking about many time periods or few time periods? If you got many periods, then you ask, well, are the differences relative, or are they relative and absolute? You see how questions lead to more questions that guide you along the way to refine your approach and come up with the right graph or at least the one that's considered to be best practice, okay? That's the stage of conception.